Hello, this is Beta Ray Ben for Pixel Spank, and today I'm playing Bomberman Tournament. Or what I assumed was actually called Bomberman Advanced, but it's actually called Bomb Bomberman Tournament. It's the GBA game. Now, I'm not starting it for a very good reason, is. Yeah, actually, never mind, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. Deep Space on the rim of. Bomber Galaxy. On planet Fantarion. Five meteors came crashing down. You're paying attention to this story, it's very important. There will be a quiz later. Boom! The fortress appears. Then ice also appears on said fortress. A dark figure looms. And there's a huge dragon like thing in there. And said figure gets his ass kicked. Come in, come in, it's me, Doc. Doc who, who knows. Remember, the SOS from Fantarian? <laughs> that Max went to check out? Long, long pause between saying that. <laughs> yeah, last week he reported some... Strange fortress being built there. They couldn't do scrolling text, weren't, weren't in the cards. We haven't heard from him since. Big space between the T and apostrophe. And can't get in contact with him. Another big space between the T and apostrophe. That's where you come in. You can't unsee it now, can you? <laughs> A big space. Go to Fantarian and find Max. You'll need to look around first. Surely that's all he'll need to do is look around. It's up to you, bomber man. Is Bomberman a Mega Man enemy at any time? No. Should he be? Perhaps. If he were, he'd be called Bomb Man. Ah, looks like I've, you've arrived safely. Here are the basics. Listen carefully. A sets a bomb. B activates selected caravan. There's a caravan scholar in town if you'd like to know more. Select will open the save window. You have two save files. So use R button opens the up. Yeah. yeah. Selected, yeah, okay, that's about it. Oh, by the way, if hurt, come here to get healed. When you're out of hearts, game over. Continue from the last safe place, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so basically, <laughs> this is a GBA game, this is Bomberman. On this cartridge contains like traditional Bomberman um, with multiplayer, but also this single player Bomberman adventure, which sort of takes cues from like Pokemon, Zelda. All sorts, and it's actually a very good game. Want to get out here? Let's have a caravan battle. If you win, I'll let you pass. Okay, let's go. Hey, you don't have any caravans. You may notice caravan has been said roughly 50 times already. No one has explained what they are. They're Pokemon. They are just Pokemon. That's what they are. I think there's. There might be about 100 of them? Right. Very important we don't die here. Yeah, I want to say there's about a hundred of them. Some of them are more useful than others, and also you can fight with them. <sighs> I'm really annoyed at myself. I destroyed that star. Actually, I've remembered what they do now, and it's, it's irrelevant that I've destroyed it. Kind of umming and ah in between this being a one off video and actually playing the whole game because. It's not very long, the adventure. It's maybe maybe eight hours. There's something to this gold rock. I think you can push it, or you, prob you probably need a special ability. You can get through there, can't you? I can drop two bombs. That is news to me. No, I can't get through there. Yeah, the reason I, I paused at the start was because I... I'd had this running for a while before I started playing it, and I could see it looping that video. And quite often with GBA games, they'll, they'll do that, where they'll have that looped video at the start, but when you actually start the game, they won't show it. That's just that's just for people in the pause menu, or realistically, like demo booths in shops. I've let that balloon out. He may kill us all. Damn it, he's smarter than I. 
Got him that time. You couldn't escape me for long. Credit where it's due. If this was Zelda, I picked up several of these little icons and now a coin, and it's it's yet to give me a descriptor of what they are. It just it just assumes that you'll figure it out because you're not a fucking idiot. And when I say Zelda, I, I I mean old Zelda, not 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 where we are with Zelda currently. I thought what what more timely time than to do this than when it, when Super Bomberman R just oh fuck me. Just came out and it's immensely disappointing. There's some spoilers for you. These are my two other save files apparently. Save file one, where I've got five bombs, five power, 240 gold, and 10 hearts. Or save file two, where I've only got nine hearts. I don't want to touch any of them. I don't know why I'm so intent on blowing up all the plants. I get nothing for it. Those little icons, the star, the sword, and the shield. They, that's how you train your Kara Pokemon, your Pokemon Caravan types. It either does attack, defense, or star. The, the rub being that there's, there's no actual levels, it's just numbers in the, those individual stats and different uh, different Caravan have sort of different maxes, if you will. The whole Caravan battle thing, it's, it's, not, it's not a huge part of the main game, it's... It's mainly side quests. I think you only actually have to do it once. Capturing them, that's part of the main game. But the fighting part, not so much. Which is weirdly the opposite of in uh, in Pokemon, isn't it? We're just going to ignore that. That never happened. I think I've gone the wrong way. I'm pretty sure that... The, the reason for that rabbit comes up at a later date. Again, I'm saying pretty sure because I'm not certain if it's like, if that is actually the case. You might be wondering if Bomberman needed a single player adventure mode. N no, arguably not. But they said the same thing about you know Mario after after Donkey Kong and uh, and Super Mario Brothers or. Mario Brothers, which everyone was that arcade game. I'm a little bit lost, I'm not going to lie. I feel like there was a split path at some point, and I'm hoping that I I haven't messed up. There's a chance I might have had to interact with that weird green rabbit more. So far, this looks like a single route to me. It was somewhere around here. I'm sure I could have gone in two directions, but now that that's not happening, I'm a little bit worried about it. The whole shtick is I've got to get to that thing in the, on the right there, who's sort of the uh, the poster child caravan, if you will, and is quite quite clearly a mixture between Kirby and Pikachu. To be honest, it's, it's shockingly so. Right, so that's okay. All right, that's that. We, we've seen that. So what is? Where does this one go? How early did I mess up? That literally goes right there. Wow. I I took a very unnecessary route. I'm a saviour boy. Mew. Don't. No. This. Like a cat. Not like the Pokemon Mew. And he pissed off. But he dropped a ring. Oh, my man gets the ring. What ring? You might be thinking. The ring is clearly from a side quest. I forgot to start, but fortunately, the game's not not an asshole and just lets you get get halfway through the quest. Yeah, there's side quests. There's a whole story going on. There's you know people need my help in this this town here. Let's call it I don't know Pallet Town, something like that. Mum's gonna be so mad at me. What's your name? Bomber Man. My name's Honey. Nice to meet. No. Max, never heard of him. My problem, I was playing with my mum's ring when Pommy took it and ran off to the forest with it. Mum says not to go to the forest. My mum's ring, thanks Bomber Man. Bomber Man hands over the ring. This is for you as thanks. I got small medicine. Okay. That's, uh... Oh, look. Suddenly, I finally found you, Mew. Yeah, they can talk. Sorry I didn't thank you earlier. I want to help you on your quest, okay? I see. I'll tag along then. D 
Digimon. That's the other one, isn't it? My name's Pommy. Nice to meet you. He gives you the ability to teleport. It's not very useful. It just it teleports you to... Uh, I want to say, like, outside or the last town you've been into. Name's Fujiwara. I study caravans. I moved here to... Fu yeah, that's fine. I don't. No, I don't, I don't want to know more. Oh, God. Attributes. Fire, water, electric, and earth. And it's... Fi fire beats... No, no, water beats fire. Okay. That's fine. Fire beats earth. That feels backwards. Earth beats electricity. Okay, that's fine again. What was the last one? Electric electricity beats water. Okay, that works. Uh, yep. Yeah. No, I don't, I don't want to know about fusion. Oh god, I've just remembered that. You confuse, you confuse them together in the style of Digimon or Yu-Gi-Oh, for that matter. And then, and then on top of that, you get the new one that's the fusion, but you keep both the originals as well. It's really weird. Right, we're going into battle. It's not. It's not a great system for battles. Basically, all you do is you pick the three moves they'll do in an almost rock, paper, scissors -y fashion, but not quite. And then they'll, they'll do it and hopefully you'll win. So let's, let's go with this one and then that one. And then technique. He's got Duraco. It's got three HP. I've got nine. He's level one to my level three. We should be fine. Both attacks, both take damage. He attacked, I defended. It's fine. I used electric, he defends, nothing happens. Round two, both defending means we're doing the same thing, isn't it? We both attack. But I win because I attack first. Oh. He must be earth type. And I'm electric. No. Double attack. Alright, so what I now know is going into this fight the next time, because you're not supposed to win the first time out, you're supposed to win on the second time, is my electric attacks do nothing to him because he's a fire type. So, obviously. But if, if I'd have lost that, then then I would know what to do next time, which is it's just no specials, all, all attacks. Uh, yeah. He wants to do stranger fights and stuff. There's a Colosseum, apparently. None of it matters. Just leave. I I know all of this. He's telling me about stuff I've, I already remember. Because it's not a complicated game. Also, there's a bomb shop. I've ignored that entirely. Hey, welcome to my bomb shop. I fuse materials to your bomb to make new types of bombs. Want me to make you a new bomb? No. The reason I've said no is because I, I already know I don't have any materials. Materials is a loose term. It's not like you're going to get like a shit ton of these. You really only get them... Uh... Know, we'll take that one out, because that's, that's free. You still don't get better than that. Yeah, materials... I, I think you, they're basically just rewards for doing like side quests and, and dungeons, because obviously there's dungeons and, and other such things. In fact, the dungeons are very much more like the uh, traditional... Um, like Bomberman game. Made, ne nearly killed myself there. It's very hard to actually kill anything in this overworld because currently all I've got is standard bombs. Which, yep, I was pretty sure that was a factor. So it's quite hard to actually, you know, hit anything. Eventually, you get you get remote bombs, so you can pick when they activate, which is good, obviously. Safe here, aren't I? Yeah. And you also get the uh, the carabins. They have better overworld abilities. This one I've got now. It's kind of shitty. Doesn't really do a lot. It just teleports you places. Always back to where you don't want to go, though. I think you get uh, you get ones that make you move quick. Some that let you uh, like remote control your bombs. Useful shit like that. I think there's one that makes you invincible to bombs. And, and then they get more esoteric. There's ones that let you breathe underwater, for example. Granted, there is an underwater section of the game. Thank God for that, otherwise it would make no sense. It's, uh... Yeah, 
I just, I just like leaving bombs out. It's fun. Oh, and I'm stuck here. Just ignore that. Best building for the future, you know, that'll probably come back to help me at some point. I think those trees are persistently down, yeah? Like, you knock them down once, they're down forever. There's no downside to doing it, obviously. I'd, I'd be mad if they did that. Maddening, people would describe it as. Yeah, your bombs disappear if they go off screen. Um, you get a little bit more than the screen, but not not a lot, really. Ah, oh, got him. Coin for my trouble. Son of a bitch. Yeah, it's not, uh, not overly generous with lives. Trapped between a rock and my own bomb. This... I remember there being something here, but I'm not sure what. So it's important to note, this game is based on bom the stories of Bomberman 1 and 2. Because apparently there was a story in Bomberman 1 or 2. Ugh, he moved. Still, I've got two of them. I might get him. Nah. Walk past him. It's fine. Didn't even need it. It's the this cave. You there. Well, unusual to have a guest. You were attacked by caravans, no? A wild caravan named Seedrun has been challenging whoever passes. It's too dangerous to be outside. So, uh, I recall this. Seedrun's a dragon. Kind of a boss. Like, he's pretty cool. Come at me. I dare you. Yeah, fuck you. And for some reason, he's shooting... He's, do he's doing something to you, but I can't quite remember what. I know his ability is a shield. An oddly, like, metallic, over-the-top shield you can use. And in fact, I, I think this might be the only time in the game where my current Carabon, Pommy... His ability to, to teleport is actually used. Not useful, it's actually necessary. Here it is. Danger ahead. Yep, so you just get hit by an arrow. Fate has brought you here. Ha ha ha. That's Cedron. I say dragon. It's kind of dopey looking. Will Cedron spit higher up? Or down. Three guards, you win. Three misses, you lose. Which will it be? Up or down? Up. He went down. Ow, that's hot. I don't know if Cedron has any tells or not. So far, I've got them both wrong. There's a chance he alternates. No, he didn't. Cedron wins. I'm toast. Do I die? Don't know what happened there. So you don't lose any life from these arrows, you just hit get hit by them. And it triggers the event. Right. It, now, is it just the same pattern as before? Which I believe was down, up, up. So let's try that. Down. Nice guard. Ah, uh, uh, beat me that time. Right. Hold my ground here. Nailed it. I don't think there's actually any way of knowing what happens here. You just have to guess. Alright, it's all to play for. I'm gonna go down. You went down. I've won. You're mine. I know what you're thinking. How does Bomberman do that weird guarding ability? He never displays that ever again in the game. He's never. He never does it since. It's not like he's got some weird shield. It would be useful, really. I admire tough guys. Mind if I jo join you? My name's Cedron. He provides you with a shield. Do you want to set me now? Yeah, yeah, I will. Look at this shield. It's nonsensical, really, isn't it? It's got a cool little animation, though. Just that, that additional extra movement. Yeah. 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 Almost never used again, that ability. Presumably this was the man who shoots at you as well. We'll just let that go though. Who are you? What are you doing here? You're a bomber man looking for Max? I can't trust you. Get over here. 
You may remember we had a ship earlier. We'll never see that again. There's an item in the basement. If you're the real bomber man, you'll be able to find it. Now get in there. Are these treasure chests? No. Now, I know what you're thinking. Bomberman's now famous. Maybe he's like a superhero in this galaxy. Something akin to the Green Lantern, maybe. Or a Green Lantern. But he's famous for bombs, and this guy's just sent him into his basement to find something. Using bombs? It's... It's an unusual quirk of home ownership, really. You gotta be very careful when you're sort of nonchalantly laying bombs the way I am not to blow yourself up. It's very easily done. But actually, it's, it is the entire crux of the, of the game Mama Man, isn't it? Don't blow yourself up. Obviously, I'm not a psychopath. I'm, I'm gonna clear out all of these barrels. The man wanted his home blown up. I'm gonna blow it up for him. Very important. You you work on sort of two sides, so you're you're never wor working at your own bombs. You, you, know, you plant a bomb, you move away. That's how we prevent workplace accidents. I immediately stopped doing that as soon as I described the, the technique, didn't I? It's such a satisfying game, this isn't it? You're just clearing them away. If you can line it up so you can clear more than one barrel at a time, it's just, just lush. Way better than, you know, just your boring match freeze. There's an element of peril here. There's bombs, for Christ's sake. Look at that chest. That's a nice chest. Nearly killed myself then. I was nearly going to place a bomb here as I went. I did. I did kill myself there. I haven't saved it once. I haven't saved it at all. Like, there's no checkpoints. That's it. You start the game again. I now remember having to play the start of this game many times. Alright, let's... Alright, get out. Get out! Get out of it! Leave! Leave! Alright. Uh, no. Alright, we're gonna... We're gonna soft reset. Well, we're in the quest mode now. I'll just have a quick look at the battle mode. One player group, host game. This had multiplayer with a, if you only had one cartridge, which was good. We're uh, we're actually going to be a maverick. We're going to go play a. F oh, you can't. I was hoping I could just go play a three. Right, character one, computer normal. Three rounds, three minutes. Tie break on. Shuffle, sure. Skulls, burn sounds good. Actually, I don't know what that even means to be honest. Fish, fishing, revenge. Yeah. Okay. Standard, high power, conveyor, slippage, landmine, pipe bomb. Curvage, moon warp. Look at high power. That sounds like my sort of speed. Wow. Oh god, I just remembered what high power means. It means all the bombs are on, like full. Right, he's out. I'm nearly out. Now I can nick his abilities. I can almost remember what some of them are. Ah, I fucked him at the end. Oh, oh. I win. I won. Did I win? I did win. Genius. Alright. It's best of three. Oh, you don't get... You can't pick a new level between. That sucks. So this gives you all the power-ups. So you, you have max explosions. You can kick bombs. I bet I can throw it up. as. <laughs> The key here is to chain explosions. Alright. Shit. I'm out. Ah! Ah! Done in by my own bomb! That little bitch at the top just jumped in there. I forgot quite how fun this is. You kind of just want to stay out of everyone's way. That's that's how you survive in Bomberman. Ah, ah, got done in. It's all out for me now. Well, I did nearly immediately kill one of them. Damn it, Black! Get over here. Enjoy the game. I think you can. Oh, you can teleport 
to different sides. I'm the guy on the left, by the way. I'm, I'm White Bomber, man. I, I never said that. There used to be a, an option where if you managed to kill someone with your bomb that you throw in, you'd become them. I don't know if that's in this or not. I might have turned it off. Oh, come on, die already. I knew that was just a fluke, me winning like early on like that. Oh, yeah, they can. They they immediately know how far a bomb is going to go. It's not. It's not like you or I where you're just kind of guessing. Oh, someone died. I, you know what, I'm gonna, I can't quit. You, you literally can't quit out of this. I'm trying to die there. Right, that was a quick one. Ho hopefully Black's got enough to win. Nope, everyone's got one. This is gonna take forever. Why did I pick three? I thought it would let me choose levels between rounds. Roller skates make you go faster. Bomb gives you an extra bomb. Multiple bombs gives you multiple bombs. Oh, Black's in a bad situation. Yeah! Just kick bombs at him, that's the key. Thing is, because there's no blocks, you can't you can't pin anyone in. Ah! I was gonna run around and pin him, but he, he fought ahead. He's a smart one, he is. I don't that's it's nonsense. It's a, a a devilishly well designed game, Bomber Man. Yep. I panicked. Utterly panicked. Well I'm out of this. Come on black, take the victory. Well, he's dead. Soon as soon as I gave him my backing, he died almost immediately. Ah, uh, thought I killed Red there. You just want to hobble them as much as you can. You can only do so much hobbling, though. They, they won't take advantage of it either. Ah, uh, he's dead. Yeah. All right, Red. Have you got your victories now? Have you won? No. Oh my God, this game is like way too fair on its CPU. CPU? No, that's the wrong word. Oh, shit, nearly died there. You can actually, you can use like the uh, the power ups as a shield. I died. I didn't use the power ups as a shield at all. All right, now so right. I'm deliberately going to try not to win here, as I've been doing every round. Because I'm. If the compu if any computer wins, they they got it. Bomb kicking, very useful. You'd be dead without it. I I'd be dead certainly. Yep, killed myself. That's fine. I can accept that in life. All right, Red, you won. Good for you, Red. Have your victory party. Oh God, he has fishing at the end. What the hell is this? Ah. <laughs> oh. This game's so weird. <laughs> I just, yeah, you, you fish and you get like a power up to use next time. That one gives you an additional last square. Yeah, well, yeah, that took forever. Well, that was Bomberman Tournament. It's uh, it's actually very good. Mo the multiplayer is great. Single player is actually really good as well. It 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 goes a bit odd, granted, and it's very unforgiving if you forget to save it. But you can save anyway, so that's that's really on me. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.